It was just recently when David Menzies was assaulted by a police officer who then accused him of assaulting the police officer. Executing arrests at the behest of the government. Watch this video in slow motion multiple times that this looks like an absolute, complete, coordinated setup. These people should be sued, fired, and we should blaze a path of destruction against a government that's trampling on the rights of Canadians. As a former prosecutor and a lawyer who defends people who are the victims of bullies, the way that that event arrest occurred is absolutely offensive to any citizen who values freedom of the press and is worried about the abuse of process from police officers. David Menzies was interviewing Christina Freeland and trying to ask her questions, which the history of our country, this has always happened, where reporters can ask our politicians questions without fear of being arrested by the government. Now, if you watch this video, you can see specifically that this was a setup by the RCMP. It looks clearly like the RCMP officer put himself in the path of the reporter who was looking at Christina Freeland to ask a question. The police officer was not in uniform. You could hear David Menzies say, excuse me, as he tries to go by him to ask a question and the police officer almost doing what looked like a basketball pick, put himself there and as soon as he was touched by David Menzies, arrested him for assault. So fresh on the heels of that, this just happened yesterday. They're about to pray. They're about to pray. They're about to pray. They're about to pray. What is going on We just want you to watch the problem. Excuse me, we're trying to put him behind the Hey, 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 that's my guy. That's my guy. Stop. Stop. Hey. Stop. Hey. Stop. Hey. Stop. Hey. Stop. Hey. Stop. Stop. Hey. Stop. Hey. Stop. Hey. Stop. Hey. Stop. Stay back, guys. Stay back. Hey, stay back. Stay back. Stop pushing forward. Everybody back. Did you see what that showed? There was a pro-Hamas protester. You probably recognize him. He's the guy who shouts hateful things at synagogues, at Jewish schools. He's the one who has been leading the Hamas rallies around Toronto. David was trying to interview him and he said, I'm going to pray in the middle of the street right now. Okay, well, you go ahead. It's a public street. David can stand there. But no, the police came and pulled David off the street as if it became suddenly a Sharia street, a mosque or something. And then they later arrested him. They claimed he didn't show his ID to police, which is a requirement in Canada. But take a look at this. Those wicked liars are lying. Here is footage of David Menzies going through his wallet, pulling out ID to show the police. And they arrest him and put him in the back of a paddy wagon. Anyways, take a look. Hey, hey, no, 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 I'm no, far no, enough, buddy. Hey, I'm, not, I'm not you shoving don't... you, sir. I'm standing here. You're impeding I'm me. I'm standing here already. You're sir, I'm not violent. Are you going to listen to me? It's a police you investigation. Are you going to arrest me, too? Don't get smart. I ask you to step away, okay? What's your badge number? 731, sir. Thanks, bud. What's your bud? Sir, if you can kindly read Sir, I can record my coworker, right? Whatever you like. Okay. I never repeated anything. Watch. It's what I tell you. Are you listening or not? That's better. That's a good place. So, Don't do your job. I'll do mine, right? Okay. You're going to be under arrest for a second, please. Here we go. I'm, I, hey. Hey, stop. That's my wallet. You're under arrest for fucking police. There we go. What is this? I've asked you for identification numerous times. You failed to identify yourself. That's just fucking police. Catherine, can you grab my phone? We'll get it, sir. Don't worry. Nobody will touch it. We'll get your identification for you. Okay. I, I think you guys are going to be hearing from our lawyers. Yep. Sure. I'll get them, sir. Don't worry. Nobody will touch your property. Ian, walk him back behind the gate. Thanks, brother. Want him where, sir? Take him back behind the gate. Thanks, guys. Well, I have just come down. I was called by Efron, our videographer. He showed me the footage. I came down immediately to try and get David released. 
I went and presented myself to 51 Division. They say they are unable to tell me where David is. He may be here or he may be at another location. We're trying to find out where he is. We're trying to get him out tonight and home tonight. It's obviously outrageous that he was arrested at all. He committed no offense at all. This is the Toronto police having a political bias. They are having two-tiered policing. Every weekend, the police abide hours and hours of hate marches, blasting at Jewish synagogues and Jewish schools. But some Iranian thug who is a pro-Hamas activist says this is now a mosque. And the police come in as if this is Iran with some Sharia enforcement. That is a violation of David's personal rights, a violation of his charter rights. And I swear to God that we will take steps against the Toronto police to take them to court, to have a court, to have a judge correct them and tell them that this is still a free country. And you cannot tell a journalist he is not allowed to be on a public street recording a public conflict in the public interest. You cannot enforce Sharia law on the streets of Toronto. And if these cops need to be told that by a judge, so be it. And already, it's only been a few hours and already he is out. Here is the quick update in case you did not see it. I promise you on behalf of our viewers that we will not only defend you against their bullshit charges, but we will take the fight to them and sue them for not only the torch they committed against you now, but also the charter violation. I'm so sorry you went through this, and I thank you on behalf of our company and our viewers. Now, Ezra has every right to be upset. And even more so, David has every right to be upset. This is obviously targeting him on purpose every time. They don't like him because he, you know, he does his job. He actually asks questions. He's not part of the legacy media, and he's not friendly to the sitting government. This is pretty effing disgusting. That's all I have to say. Um, I have no, I have no affiliation with Rebel News or David or Ezra. Met Ezra. He's a great guy, but. Uh, that being said, uh, I'm more than happy to post that link in my description below. Hell, I'll put it in the comment uh, in the comment section below as well if you want to help uh, support the legal fight uh, for David. We got to take our power back, and this is one way, one little way we can do it is, uh, you know, helping out a journalist uh, in need. You know, I mean, a lot of people turn to journalists like David um, to get. You know the other side of the story if i may be so brazen to say so i would say the true side of a lot of stories which you won't hear from our government or from ctv or cbc anyhow if you're as disgusted about this as i am then head on over to that link that i provided below and you can help out justin tv if you like what you've seen and want to support this justin instead of that justin Click that big shiny join button to become an exclusive JCred TV member and receive some awesome membership perks. Keep on rocking in the free world! Keep on rocking in the free world! Woo! Keep on rocking in the free world. <laughs> but most of all, do it because Trudeau would rather you didn't. <laughs> I thought I was going to make it through this, but I'm not. It hurts. Freedom! 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 Freedom is essential.